A new law in Washington will require local health boards to have a less political makeup. That law was passed by the state legislature earlier this year. Krem 2's Ian Smay spoke with a local health official and one of the sponsors of the bill. He explains what it means for Spokane. The Spokane Regional Health District Board of Health will be shrinking in the coming weeks. It will go down to eight members from 12, and due to a new state law regarding the makeup of health boards, there will have to be at least as many non-elected officials as politicians on the board. According to those involved in making the new law, it's an attempt to make public health decisions less political. Currently, Spokane's Regional Health Board is made up of nine elected officials, while two are non-elected officials appointed by the board. But thanks to a new state law, that will have to change. Democrat Marcus Riccelli, the state representative for the 3rd Legislative District in Spokane County, was the bill's primary sponsor. My goal was to make sure that we brought a balance to our public health board, that we brought real lived experience, that we brought, brought uh, people with uh, medical backgrounds that were professionals, public health uh, backgrounds, to make sure that uh, we're um, putting public health above politics and making good decisions for our community. Spokane's Regional Health Board will go down to eight members. Four of them will be elected officials, the three county commissioners and Millwood Mayor Kevin Freeman. The other four will be non-elected officials selected by the board. In Spokane's case, there will have to be one of each from the following groups. One representing public health, health care facilities and providers, such as a current or retired doctor, public health expert or other medical professional. The second member must represent other community stakeholders. Examples include a business owner, a current or retired service member, or a member of a nonprofit focused on helping those with medical needs. The third group that must be represented is consumers of public health, defined as a community member who identifies as having faced health inequities or has went through experiences with public health programs. Lastly, since there are federally recognized tribes in Spokane County, the board will have to accept at least one tribal member selected by the American Indian Health Commission. While Riccelli thinks having more healthcare professionals is a good thing, he's concerned by the decision to shrink the size of the board. I think um, scaling back the numbers is uh, against kind of the intent of all the folks that came out and supported the bill. Um, I also think it's just bad public policy direction. Riccelli also voiced concerns at eliminating the elected representatives from the Spokane and Spokane Valley City Councils. He also pointed out that when the Board of County Commissioners expands to five in 2022 as mandated by law, the health board will have to expand to satisfy the non-elected officials requirement. We reached out to the county commissioners for comment, but we have not heard back. County spokesperson Jared Webley did say that the application process will open soon and they will widely advertise those positions. He also said they hope to have the new board in place by the start of the coming year. In the newsroom, Ian Smay, Crum 2 News.